Welcome back. We remember the stories and the images from around this time last year. Snow and ice covered our roads and our homes, and some of us here in Lubbock were dealing with power outages. Including one predominantly black church on the west side of town whose lights were out just long enough that it led to disaster. February 2021, Reverend Michael White and Pilgrim Baptist Church have quite the mess on their hands. There's furniture that's damaged. Um, Everything's so damaged, so waterlogged and saturated that they, it's, it's not salvageable. A power outage caused by ice and snow here leads to burst pipes inside. This is where we come to worship God. And, you know, we, we can't do that. I'd rather have my house flood than the church. But that was last year. This is now. The goodness of God. Uh, God's providential hand on it all. Oh, what can change in just 12 months? Everything was stripped to the studs, the rafters, and the, the cement foundation. There was nothing left. And so this is, in effect, truly a brand new building. Um, everything is new. The electrical's new. The plumbing's new. The flooring's new. The sheetrock is new. All the furnishings are new. Thanks to generous donations from the community, White says the church was incredibly blessed. But for members, the road to revitalization, as you can imagine, took a lot of prayer. Think about uh, a massive fire or a hurricane or something a tornado hitting your house and you being displaced from your home and then having to go to a temporary shelter, not for days, not for weeks, but for months, while you hope everything works out as they rebuild your home. That's what our congregants went through. You see, that's the testament not only of this predominantly black church, but in large part that of the entire black community. When it seems that all hope is lost, there is yet resilience. It's the song of the movement. We shall overcome someday. We don't often know when someday is, but we're certain someday will come. And that is our faith as African American Christians. We know that whatever struggles, whatever circumstances or situations befall us, we're going to come out because of our trust and faith and hope in God. And sadly, during the renovations, Ty White, Pilgrim's First Lady and the wife of Reverend White, tragically passed away after a tough battle with COVID-19. But before she left us, Reverend White says Ty picked out the color scheme, the paint, and all the furnishings for the renovated building. So he knows deep in his heart, he's proudly looking down to see it all come to fruition. 